Well, thousands of Arizona students are heading back to school this week. Many will find themselves in larger classrooms taught by long-term substitutes. That's according to a new survey conducted by CBS 5 Investigates. Our Morgan Lowe joins us now live in studio with the results. Morgan? Yeah, we've been dealing with a massive teacher shortage, something state leaders have tried to fix. So we reached out to every school district in the state and asked a simple question. Is your teacher situation better this year than it was a year ago? Seventh grade, lighten it up. It is the reality today. Students heading back from summer break to schools that are trying to make do with fewer teachers. I think that what we have is a teacher crisis. Joe Thomas is the president of the State Teachers Union. He says there are teachers in Arizona. They're just choosing not to teach. If you go to the Arizona Department of Education, they'll tell you they have about 90,000 teacher certificates on file. And we only have about 50, 55,000 teaching positions in the state. According to Thomas, the two biggest factors driving teachers away are salaries and class size. Last year, Arizona residents voted to increase school funding through Proposition 123. 25 percent of the districts that responded to our survey reported being in worse shape this year than last as far as the teacher shortage. Another 25 percent said there was no change from last year. 50 percent of the districts reported they are in better shape this year than last. That's something we're doing really well with this year. The Peoria School District is like many of the districts that reported doing better. Their success is not necessarily a result of help from state leaders. It's a huge credit to um, our team being very creative. It is a monarch, actually. Creativity is helping. Use of long-term subs is at an all-time high, and this year state lawmakers made it easier for districts to hire people with no teaching experience. Class size is high, the pay is low. The average salary for a teacher is $58,000 nationally. It's $47,000 in Arizona. Uh, I think a $10,000 raise would impact people willing to teach. But the other side of the coin is you can pay someone a lot of money to come in and teach, but if you still have 40 fifth graders in a classroom, the job is still taxing that individual too much. Okay, Morgan, so you look at your results and about half the schools are doing better with teacher recruiting and retention. So what are they doing better? They can't do much about the money, but what they're doing is offering smaller class sizes. They're targeting new teachers at the Arizona's three universities, and they're also targeting teachers who went to grade school themselves within these districts. All right, thank you, Morgan, for that report.